Welcome. Uh, this is another video in my NIV Bible reading series. NIV stands for New International Version. And in this video, I will be reading through Exodus chapter 18. Uh, yeah, so in Exodus, last chapter in Exodus chapter 17, two things happened. It's a pretty short chapter. So the people were the people were dying or like were like didn't have any water. So a God performed another another uh, God weighed in again and had, and was and gave and was able to uh, and, and you know, gave Moses the ability to uh, use his staff, open up a rock, and water come out of that and save them from dehydrating to death. And then. The Amalekites, which is another thing, you know, uh, or you may not know, the Amalekites, the, the the battle with the Amalekites and Rephidim, and with Joshua and stuff, Joshua leading them and stuff like that. Um, so basically, as as uh, whenever Moses' hands were were up, were up on in the place that he was in, they the, uh, the Israelites were winning, and when they when they were brought down, the Israelites were losing. And uh, and his hands were propped up and stuff like that by stones and from uh, from Aaron and her and stuff, and they won. Um, and the, the chapter eighteen is gonna be is gonna be about you know way if you remember way back at the beginning of, near the beginning of Exodus. Uh, uh, the, Moses left when Moses left Egypt or fled Egypt. He went. He, he ended up getting uh, in favor of uh, some, I guess, some herdsmen or something like that, and ended up marrying a wife and stuff like that. Cause he watered the flocks of some of some of some guy's household and stuff, and drove off. I guess people that didn't want him to to water his flocks. So. And then he ended up marrying the, that family's daughter, uh, one of the family's daughters. And then now that the father, basically his, his wife's father is going to visit him and bring him his wife and son. And bring him Moses' wife and, and son and stuff like that. And he's going to propose that, that, that Moses elect or appoint um, officials. To handle the ba like basic matters, so that not every matter has to be given has to be judged by Moses himself. So it takes off his burden and stuff, and he's gonna take that advice. So uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Now Jethro, the priest of Midian and father-in-law of Moses, father-in-law of Moses, heard of everything God had done for Moses and for his people Israel, and how the Lord had brought Israel out of Egypt. After Moses had sent away his wife Zipporah, his father-in-law Jethro received her and her two sons. One son was named Gershom, for Moses said, I have become an alien in a foreign land. And the other was named Eleazar, for he said, My father's God was my helper. He saved me from the sword of Pharaoh. Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, together with Moses' sons and wife, came to him in the desert where he was camped near the mountain of God. Jethro had sent word to him, I, your, I, your father-in-law Jethro, am coming to you with your wife and her two sons. So Moses sent, went out to meet his father-in-law and bowed down and kissed him. They greeted each other and then went into the tent. Moses told his father-in-law about everything the Lord had done to Pharaoh and the Egyptians for Israel's sake and about all the hardships they had met along the way and how the Lord had saved them. Jethro was delighted to hear about all the good things the Lord had done for Israel in rescuing them from the hand of the Egyptians. He said, Praise be to the Lord who rescued you from the hand of the Egyptians and Pharaoh who rescued the people from the hand of the Egypt, hands of the Egyptians and Pharaoh and who rescued the people from the hand of the Egyptians. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all the all other gods, for he did this to those who had treated Israel arrogantly. Then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law brought a burnt offering and other sacrifices to God, and Aaron came with all the elders of Israel to eat bread with Moses' father-in-law in the presence of God. 
The next day Moses took his seat to serve as judge for the people, and they stood around him from morning till evening. Then his father in law saw all that Moses was doing. I mean, when his father in law saw all that Moses was doing for the people, he said, What is this you are doing for the people? Why do you alone sit as judge while all these people stand around you from morning till evening? And Moses answered him, Because the people come to me to seek God's will. Whenever they have a dispute, it is brought to me, and I decide between the parties and inform them of God's decrees and laws. Moses' father-in-law replied, what, what you are doing is not good. You and these people who come to you will only wear yourselves out. The work is too heavy for you. You cannot handle it alone. Listen now to me, and I will give you some advice, and may God be with you. You must be the people's representative before God and bring their disputes to him. Teach Teach them the decrees and laws, and show them the way to live and live and the duties they are to perform. Are to perform. So select capable men from all the people, men who fear God, trustworthy, and who who hate dishonest gain, and, and appoint them as officials over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. Have them serve as judges for the people at all times, but have them bring every difficult task to you, difficult case to you. The simple cases they can decide themselves that will, that will make your load lighter because they will share it with you. If you do this and God so commands, you will be able to stand the strain and all these people will go home satisfied. Moses listened to his father-in-law and did everything he said. He chose capable men from all Israel and made them leaders of the people, officials over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. They served as judges for the people at all times. The difficult cases they brought to Moses, but the simple ones they decided themselves. Then Moses sent his father-in-law on his way, and Jethro returned to his own country. Alright, yeah, that was chapter 18. Alright, I really ain't got nothing to say except, you know, that makes sense. What Jethro is speaking back. Because, think about it, if, if that didn't happen, nobody would know God's laws once Moses died. Like, what would they do when Moses died if he didn't if he didn't teach the laws uh, to people and stuff like that and you know allow that to spread and stuff like that? It would it would just it just be it'd be done, you know. Uh, the 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 law of God would be forgotten fairly soon, you know. I, mean, we, I definitely wouldn't be reading from this book right now or doing this video. Probably, you know, and stuff like that, unless, I guess, I mean, God could have worked something out and, and stuff like that, and, but, that, but he did, you know, I guess, and stuff like that, you know, uh, and I, I got the good book of his law right now here in my hand, but, uh, but yeah, you know, definitely, responsibility is, it, it is good to share like responsibility with others you know and stuff like that because moses is only one man you know and stuff like that so he needed others to help him to, to help him you know make sure that people knew the word and knew god's laws and decrees and stuff like that and decide things and be judges so yeah anyway that's it i'm out um yeah, uh, I'm going gone.